In the previous episode, you saw me struggling trying to install the edit timber where I ended up needing some help to make some progress. So I'm not done quite yet. So let's see if I can finish this thing up by myself. I am Tristan, aka the DIY Cabin Guy, structural engineer by day and cabin builder in the making on the weekends. Even though I have no prior building experience, I decided that I would build a 400 square foot cabin by myself to rent on Airbnb and I am showing you every step of the way. So let's get back to work. So that's the next step. We have a beam going here, but this is not a clean cut, so yeah, it appears that kind of messed up that cut by a lot. This is too deep. Yeah, I'm gonna redo the cut and we'll block it. Oh, that's so much better. So what are we at? Yeah, we have an extra inch. Cut the right size. Of course I didn't. Of course I didn't cut the right size. Yeah, I forgot the widths. Oh, there we go. Haha! -ha. Fits like a glove. Okay, this is perfect. So now is the interesting part. Oh goodness, this is gonna be much taller than I saw. Okay. Let's try not to fall. So can you measure what the height is between the bottom of this and the post? I don't know, that's gonna play out, man. I'm gonna have to find another way. This is too dangerous again. Um, how can I do this? I really don't know. All right, let's take a break and think about it. All right, so first thing first, find the middle. Okay, so here is the plan. So I just came up with an idea. I don't know if it's any good. So now I just have to measure that. So it looks like we figured it out. Oh, I figured so. So set 57 and This is just so that when I put screws at the diagonal, it doesn't push the, the post away. And there's a two on each side. Whoa! <laughs> it's perfectly level. Absolutely perfect. So my technique worked. Easy peasy. So because we have 3.75 inches up there, because it's 2 LVL, I have to sandwich the beam with some half inch plywood. Let's do something to avoid the catastrophe. Ah. <laughs> okay, 
guys. So needless to say, this is not gonna go anywhere. If you want more detail on how to install rafters, we'll make sure to check out episode 29. This should be much easier than the 2x12 inside the cabin. Not as heavy, but <laughs> still a long piece of wood. Not too, too bad. Okay, this one is good to go. Whoa, okay, so hopefully you see where I'm going with this. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh man, this is nice, I like it a lot. It's heavy. Woo! All right, let's get it down. So now that I'm happy with the result, I'm gonna use some Gianca screws to attach it. Okay, that should do it. So, so for now, I'm just gonna nail it because I don't want it to just go anywhere. Still nail it on the side for now. Perfect. It doesn't get any better than this, in my opinion. Solid as a rock.
So I did run out of a 2x8 for my rafters, but I still had some 2x12, which I'm not gonna use for anything else. So I'm trying to rip them down to a 2x8 using a table saw. Not sure that's gonna go. I got my missing two by eight, and so that was great. This worked as planned and no one got hurt, so that's a victory in me. Just like it happened with the rafter inside the cabin, I didn't buy rafters that are long enough. You can see this, this is not long enough, so I have to extend it, which again, I do not recommend just buy the right length, but this is where I'm at. So I will extend this to 16 inches so I can match the overhang that I have on the cabin. So how do we do this? It's fairly easy. Step one, grab a piece of two by six and mark your 612 slope. Step two, cut it up. Step three, I need to put my 16 inch measurement, <clears throat> which is the lens of my overhang. So because I'm lazy, this is 16. So, and then mark this. Step, I don't know, four, I will step four. I know that there's only four and a half inch. Also, when I go over my beam, do a line. This measurement doesn't really matter. It's whatever's gonna go against the existing rafter. Step five, cut it up. Here it is. Let's go try it. And it will go here, right against it. And this measurement from this face to this should be the 16. And then we can just nail it up and do it everywhere else. Because we don't want to use those ugly Eric and ties here, throw that away. I'm gonna use my favorite screws. Do that everywhere and you're good to go. So I run into a surprise. So I was there installing all my rafter tail extension and I was about to put the last one and check this out. It doesn't work. It's actually too short. And for whatever reason, I really saw that the extension was 16 inches, but I'm completely wrong. The whole overhang is 18, so all my rafter tail extension are wrong. I'm kind of disappointed that I just didn't put my tape measure here to just check it, you know? I would have saved all this time, but now I'm back to the drawing board. Okay, I think I might have found a solution, but please don't make fun of me. How about an extension to the rafter tail extension? I mean, this is the dumbest thing ever, but I mean, it would work, right? Look at this, just extended by what I missed, which is three quarter of an inch. Extension to the extension. How professional does this look? I mean, you tell me. Original rafter, extension, second extension. So I'm matching the existing here and I'm trying to go all the way here. And that is, that's fairly level, so. Okay. okay. 
Yeah, this is level. Let's see what we can do here. Thing back. Yeah, not really proud of all this contraption, but kind of works, I guess. This woolly worm and me, thank you so much for following this channel. It hasn't been easy juggling with working full time, having a family, and building this cabin, but hopefully, I'm getting there slowly. Tickle, tickle. Feel free to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and here's a link to the next episode. So, I'll see you next time for some more cabin building.